With all this time eating out, you might think you need to double your time at the gym, right? Not necessarily. Healthy food options are growing just as fast as the grass in your next green smoothie. We're talking vegan to gluten-free juice bars, and they pop up sometimes in establishments that might surprise you. Sheldon Ingram introduces us to restaurants that might leave you feeling like a health nut. <laughs> I love how you're like, I'm not taking this weight away. Do you know what kind of sauce this is on the taco salad? I don't, actually. There we go. Have you eaten here before? We're eating vegan, but before we tell you where vegan is, we'll tell you what vegan is. It's plant-based nutrition, no animal meat or byproducts. It's regarded as one of the healthiest diets on the planet. We're dining with a group called Vegan Pittsburgh. Naturally, there are misperceptions, stereotypes that people have about being vegan. Think vegan people are sickly. Well, then they think, yeah, and then the people have got to be weak. sickly or <laughs> weak or uh, lacking in nutrients or unhealthy. Vegan Pittsburgh is a nonprofit group using its website to build awareness about vegan eating options in Pittsburgh. The group is connected to more than 50 places that offer vegan cuisine. A lot of people think that Pittsburgh is not a great place to be vegan or there's nothing to eat here. Pittsburgh's really changed a lot, and there's a lot of good places to eat vegan food here. Like Randita's vegan restaurant, Randy Siski is the owner who started selling vegan meals out of a food truck two years ago. The vegan cuisine is a creation of all American meals with the meat taken out. Randita's food has become so popular, Siski has two restaurants now one in Aspenwall and the other in Saxonburg. But then, Customers oh, rave about the flavor <laughs> and the health benefits. And having a place where they actually can now go and have a dinner that they can trust is on their diet plan is huge. They just, they know it's, it's organic, they know that it's vegan, there's no animal products whatsoever. They're working the belly in the amazing cafe. It's a spin-off uh, from the amazing yoga studio on Carson Street on the south side. This quaint but hip cafe has a cool menu board bearing inspirational names for its dishes. For example, they have the Buddha Burger, a dish called Curiosity, and one called Abundance, plus smoothies and juices. Sean Connolly is the owner and yoga instructor. He says his unique blend of food combinations come from travels to other countries. Now, food that you know, is, is organic, you know, free of GMOs, free of chemicals, and so I think the word started to get out. Not only is the food good, but it's also, it's also clean. They're fired up about vegan food at The Loving Hut. It's in Robinson Township, the largest vegan restaurant chain worldwide. Min Tran moved here from Vietnam and started The Loving Hut after receiving advice from a meditation teacher. Live and let live. That means you have to respect all life, all being even animal. Vegan options are growing so fast in Pittsburgh, even places with traditional offerings now have vegan selections. There's D Six Pack in Regent Square. It's a hot dog and beer stop with vegan dogs. Double Wide Grill has carved out an entire menu page of vegan selections in all of its restaurants. Piper's Pub on the south side is offering vegan with his beer and other bar foods. We'll give you a taste of the black eyed peas here. And then there's this place, Ginsburg so. Barbecue on Baum Boulevard. Yep, a barbecue joint going vegan. Well, they still have their meat, but the owner, Richard Corsi, took out some of the meat to add some vegan flair to some of his dishes. So vegan dining options are growing. People are catching on and eating it up. Next on Chronicle. I rarely ever find myself in a grocery store anymore um, because everything you need is down here. Surfing up four star cuisine in your own kitchen? We go shopping in the strip with one of Pittsburgh's top chefs for the top ingredients everyone should have.